Hello dear students let us start with our chapter 5 separation of substance so dear students let us have a discussion on topic closely related to our day to day life your mother prepares upna for you and spices up with green chilies and you simply do not like green chilies so what will you do you will separate the green chilies before taking in your mouth in a similar way you would have seen your mother separating grains like rice wheat pulses for cooking food for you and family right she separates stones and other unwanted like unwanted particles from rice wheat and pulses these are separating substance okay before we know what is separating first let us learn what is mixture a mixture is a material made up of two or more substance with are physically combined so a material which is two, which has two or more substance is known as mixture okay if a material is made up of two or more substance and if we separate them is known as separation if it is combined together is known as mixture for example most of the thing that we use in our daily life in a form of mixture not every component of mixture is useful as an example for example some food preparation may contain a constituent that is not like by us we remove it from the food item and suit it to our taste so dear students for making rice we will first clean the rice we will take out the unwanted particles and separate them rice and stones right yes only then we will be able to eat rice or else it is harmful for our body it is the first reason of separating the removal of harmful components okay students yes the second example is when we make a tea we separate the tea leaves from the liquid with a strainer right why is it so because we cannot eat the tea leaves we cannot take them as it is a waste particles it gives only the flavor but we shouldn't eat it and this is another reason of separation in removal of undesirable components okay yes when we churn the milk curd we get two different useful products that is butter and butter milk which is extremely useful products thus these three this is the third reason for separating the components of mixture to obtain pure and useful component so i am sure you would have some idea on about the method of separation some of the methods of separation are hand picking threshing winnowing sieving and so on we have 
so many methods of separation that we are going to learn in this chapter let us continue with method of separation in the next session i hope you all have understood what we learned in today's session thank you class enjoy learning